the frustration that you were describing with respect to mandates, did that feel familiar to the frustration you had been feeling with respect to the pipeline and oil and gas issues? I was much more frustrated over the mandates. And why was that? Um, because I was seeing families torn apart. The suicides in my hometown were so numerous that they stopped reporting them. Um, elderly people were dying by themselves in long-term care facilities and saying goodbye over iPads. My grandma is 94 years old and she was locked in her little apartment by herself for two years. And now that she can go out and do things, she's not healthy enough. She lost two years of her life. My father is, I'm so sorry. Take your time. My father is a very social man. He is the Coffee Row Saskatchewan father. And I remember him telling me one day that he went down to the local restaurant that he went to every single day. And these are small towns where everybody knows everybody and he was asked to leave. And I didn't want my children and my grandchildren to live in a world like that. I was becoming increasingly alarmed listening to my prime minister call me a racist and say that I shouldn't be tolerated. I found his rhetoric to be incredibly divisive and I'm a, I'm a believer that if you are a leader of a country, you have to lead all of your people, even if you don't agree with them. And I, I just saw so much 